Welcome to Tabletop Battle and our return Hi <laughs> to Africa Rommel's Fall. Well, it's Catherine Pass, but you get you get the gist. Uh, Damon and Joachim will be playing this game. Hello. Hello. Uh, we'll be pitting the uh, veteran German forces of uh, Urban Rommel uh, against the hardly battle-tested Americans, which are mostly inexperienced, and one British tank, uh, Sherman II. Um, it's 1943, it's February uh, the 19th, if I don't remember incorrectly, and the Battle for Catherine Pass uh, starts, uh, where Rommel launches three separate uh, attacks uh, to uh, reclaim the pass where the uh, Allied forces have entrenched themselves. Uh, we're going to be following, in this game, the Battle of Sbiba. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, don't kill me. Uh, let us know if I did it wrong. Um, pretty much, uh, the Allied forces were mainly inexperienced. This was the first engagement where uh, the Germans met uh, a large force of Americans. Uh, and they were very disorganized. Uh, they were completely crushed when they first faced. Uh, but at this point, uh, the Americans had restructured, uh, gotten some help from the uh, British, who had been battling for quite some time, uh, and they were holding their ground uh, with support from a lot of uh, infantry with the US, uh, French, uh, and British. There were more, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. Um, and there was a lot of art artillery uh, for the Allied. Uh, and to uh, uh, to show you the result of that, these are something that Mr. Uh, Joachim will be able to place. Uh, 1 plus D3 of uh, on the battlefield to uh, symbolize the fact that the Allies have bombarded the Germans uh, or the road where the Germans want to go to halt them, uh, signifying that something's been blown up or uh, they hit, I don't know, oil struck oil? <laughs> no, it's something that blew up and it's, uh, it's uh, providing cover and concealment for, for the Germans. Uh, so he's going to get to deploy 1 plus uh, D3. Uh, each turn he rolls for them. Uh, on a 6 it goes away. Uh, so that he has at least some cover coming up uh, against the entrenched allies. Um, the victory conditions here uh, is uh, if uh, the Germans uh, get inside uh, the Allied deployment zone, which is, let me show you, this area up to the top of this uh, sandbags, this is the Allied deployment zone. I cannot deploy above here or below here. Uh, if he gets models in here and have more models than I, or more units than I have units, it's a minor victory for the Germans. Uh, if uh, Joachim manages to eradicate my army, it's of course a major victory. If Joachim gets models to this point, which is behind my deployment zone, he can choose to remove a unit and then have it count for two units in my deployment zone, because they're back here wrecking havoc. Or he can keep it on the table and continue shooting at my units and killing them, but risking losing his own models. My victory conditions is keeping Joachim away from my deployment zone, oddly enough. Mm. If I manage that, it's a minor victory. And if I eradicate him, it's a major victory. So it's quite simple. Uh, what are we missing? Mm. Oh yeah, linked battles. Um, since there are three battles that we're doing for Kestrian Pass, uh, we're doing one for each of the major um, major battles in Kestrian. Um, at the end of the game, we're going to sum up how many units were killed. For each unit, there's one victory point. Uh, winning the game, major or minor, will give you also five additional victory points. And when we played all three battles, we're going to sum up who actually took Kessrin Pass uh, by counting victory points. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so with that, we're going to go to uh, Forces Introduction. We're going to start with the veteran nitty-gritty Germans. Oh, yeah. Which will be commanded by a guy with a reasonably stellar record against me, being the only one that's ever tabled me, really. Not talking to you, Andy. You didn't table me. Cheated. I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on to forces induction.
And we're ready with Force's introduction. Uh, but before that, just let me apologize for the lack of correct uniforms and bases. We don't have a gazillion models to choose from, so you're going to have to be happy with this. Uh, so, Joachim, what is your forces? My forces? Uh, forces. Forces. First, I have a first lieutenant with a rifle. He's a veteran. Yep. Next, next up is my here veteran infantry unit. Mm -hmm. So, 10 man strong. They only have rifles. They only have rifles. Yep. Oh, yep. Then it's the same again. Mm -hmm. So, a 10 man strong here yep. veteran unit. Yeah, and then you have, we can do this uh, one and go. Yeah, uh, then I have one unit with here infantry squad, uh, eight infantry guys with uh, um, machine gun. <laughs> rifles? Yeah, rifles and ma one machine gun. Yeah. Yep. And then you have uh, the same, same again. Yep. So. Then we move on to the patrons. Yes. This is what? That's Cormac. Mac Cormac. Yeah. What He's is he controlling? controlling a medium machine gun. Yeah, you only said to give you a support unit. You didn't specify, at least to me, or Svein didn't specify to me which nation. So you're German today. That's fine. Yep. And this was uh, selected by Commander Dolph. He wanted the 88 millimeter flak. flak. This is yeah. a awesome piece of German death and destruction. So hopefully you mm -hmm. will make the most of it. And next is the Panzer 3L, yep, which is controlled by Mr. Hickman. Hickman. And that comprises the small but uh, hopefully effective German forces. Uh, and yeah. we'll just tell you again in case you missed it. Uh, this is Veterans, these three units, and McCormick with his machine gun. Yeah. And with that, we'll move on to the U.S. and British forces. And introducing in a corner for good and justice and all that is fair in this world, me. Or a first lieutenant with a rifle. He's inexperienced. He looks like you. Of course, he's inexperienced. I'm young and virile. And dumb. You're an idiot. Uh, following him, we have two... Uh, inexperienced infantry squads, uh, 12 men in each. Uh, one of them is carrying a BAR or a Browning automatic rifle. First unit is also controlled by Nat Robo. Yes, Mr. Robo. Uh, then we, yeah, and then we move on to three, no less, regular uh, medium machine gun teams. Uh, none of them have any patrons on them. Uh, the first one does. Seriapo. Oh yeah, sorry George, didn't mean to skip you. George, you're in command. I remember you. You command these guys. Uh, then we move on to the medium howitzer, uh, which is uh, inexperienced. Uh, it's been given a gun shield and a spotter to help it shoot straight. Yeah. Then we have two 37mm anti-tank guns, uh, the M3 version. Uh, they are regulars. And lastly, in this platoon, we have a M4, uh, uh, or we have a Sherman Mark II. Uh, it's uh, a British tank uh, that uh, we chose to incorporate into the battle because the British were part of it uh, with uh, with uh, their armor. Uh, so instead of taking the US version, we substitute, substituted it with a British uh, Sherman II. Uh, stats are pretty much the same. It's a medium anti-tank gun, coaxial MMG, forward-facing MMG, uh, and it has the easily catches fire rule. Uh, and that's platoon number one. Uh, it's controlled by Jerry, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what is with me? Next platoon uh, is a inexperienced first lieutenant, uh, same as uh, the other uh, platoon. Then we have also the same two. 12 man inexperienced uh, US infantry, uh, two, uh, one man in each have a BAR. Then we have a proxy uh, medium howitzer uh, with a spotter. Uh, and lastly, we have a medium mortar team with a spotter. And that is the complete US and British forces trying to hold the pass against the veteran. Well, the veteran regular Germans. So let's see what happens. 13 order dice for the Allied 
and uh, eight for the Germans. Uh, we're finished with deployment, and Joachim, the lucky bastard, rolled a uh, five on the dice, giving him a total of four, since it was a uh, one plus d3. And he used your dice, so, so yes. I know they were loaded. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> so, in a true fashion, uh, since he's been my Padawan for getting close to 12, 13 years, and you haven't learned jack shit, except mm. that focus on one flank, and so he does. So he's blocking my firing uh, lanes, but he's doing the same to himself. And I've hopefully countered enough with having my Sherman over there. But then again, that leaves me open for his Panzer III on uh, my left side, which is his right side. Uh, so we're ready to start round number one. Uh, but before that, uh, we want to do um, a little, well, it's not something that we do, we just want to say, say it. Uh, one of my, our patrons, uh, Jerry Lanigan, uh, or Gerard, uh, he lost his wife uh, this Christmas, uh, past Christmas, uh, December 19th. He lost his wife of uh, 45 years, Karen, and we just wanted to say that, and Jerry, our thoughts are with you, and uh, we are very sorry for your loss. Mm. And even though it's not much, uh, the only thing we pretty much can do is this battle is for, uh, for Karen uh, and for you. Uh, and Svein will make a note right about here, hopefully you can make that work. So yeah, so let's take dice number one, uh, and let's make it count for 45 years of marriage. Oh, it's fine. Black one. Yes. So before he can get to start using his uh, 88, which scares the crap out of me, I'm going to start ranging in with my howitzers. So I'm going to use this guy, oh, he has to be over there. Uh, this guy is the spotter for this howitzer, and he is going to spot the 88, and they are going to open fire. Uh, so it's a 6 to hit, so let's see what goes. It's a 2, two. which leaves us on hitting on a 5 next turn if they're still around. Hello! This is Joachim, by the way. Really? Yes. You're supposed to talk. I am? Yes, what are you doing? I'm doing You have a die. I have a die? Yes, what do you want to do with it? I want to uh, advance my tank. Which is a Panzer Three L, L controlled by... L. Oh, I'm filming nothing. Film, uh, which is controlled by Mr. Hickman. Hickman! Yep, so where does Mr. Hickman want to go? Hickman want to go and that way. He specified when we asked him what unit he wanted that he wanted to see action. So here you go. You got action. If it's German action you want it, I don't know, but it's what you got from just saying you want action. Action. So, nine inches of movement. Nine is at nine. So he's going like this. Yep. And then he's opening fire on your poor <laughs> On my inexperienced one. You have a uh, coaxial uh, medium machine gun and a whole machine gun. Um, and you also have the special rule, Hitler's Abyss Saw, as we've <laughs> lately called it, which is one additional die for each of the machine guns. And this rule is in effect for light and medium machine guns only. So you have a total of eight shots on my 12-man unit. Uh, so, uh, if you want to measure, uh, just uh, I'm sure we're within range, just to make sure we're within half, which is 18 inches. 18 is gone. We are outside. Outside. All right. So we are looking at a base of three to hit, plus movement is. Uh, four. Plus over half. Uh, five. Yep. So we're looking at fives to hit. Five. Yep. On eight die. That is one. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. It's a pin. One hit, and they are inexperienced, so you will be killing on threes. And, oh, you can yeah. re-roll the six to may maybe kill the NCO. No. But it's one dead, and it's one pin, and that hurts when it's an inexperienced unit. So, Hickman uh, swings and... Well, more or less misses. He gets a kill and he gets a pin. Meanwhile, my other spotter, yay, will right. continue or will tell his howitzer to fire upon the flank. 
or the 88 millimeter. Still needing a six. Yeah! Oh no. I get a six. <laughs> Dice are loaded. That is a medium howitzer. It's a range of 60, so I'm pretty sure I'm within range. That is 49 ish. 48, 49. Yeah. A uh, medium howitzer uh, is 2d6 hits, and that's gonna hurt. But he has seven dudes, so he might get lucky. 2d6 hits, that is six hits. Uh, let's see, that's two, four, and six. Uh, and that is a uh, d3 pins. So we'll just do that. That is three pins, so that's good. And it has a penetration value of, let's see, that's two to six, oh, plus three. Uh, these guys were regular, so I'll be killing them normally on a, uh, on a four, minus three, so I'm killing them on a one, basically. Yeah. But I won't kill all of them. That's all of them, except one dead. Uh, so uh, Dolph Jr. is reduced to cinders with only one man remaining. Um, the result of this is he gets a permanent minus one because he's only one guy left and he has a minus one to shoot if he passes his leadership test of now a five in total. Oh, he yeah. does! It's a magical three. So you stay but with a uh, three uh, or with three pin markers and an additional one permanent to uh, uh, to not be killed. And this also means that that howitzer has ranged in, so next turn it will hit you on a two plus. Yeah. So with uh, the 88 uh, almost incapacitated, I'm going to advance Mr. Lanigan. First name Jerry, he's going to drive up nine inches. His front and moving up here. Dude, we forgot to turn the lights on. Mm -hmm. that. But he moves up. Uh, at this point, I can still see your tank because you haven't gotten to hide behind the big sand dunes yet. Uh, it will be hardcover. Movement moment. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, but I am going to make one. Pivot, one small or it's not a small pivot. There we go. So I got my front to you in case you want to shoot me. Wait, that doesn't work. No, shoot. <laughs> Thing is, if, if, I, if I stand with my front, at least I have one higher armor. Uh, but if I stand with my front that way, I won't be, shoot, uh, be able to shoot my hole mounted at anything. And I want to shoot my hole mounted at these guys. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to shoot my hole mounted and coaxial. Machine gun, that's uh, six shots at uh, this unit. This is a regular here squad, because yeah. they got the uh, light machine gun. So I'm hitting on a base of three, uh, movement four, uh, and I'm guessing long range five. Yep, it's 25 inches to them. Uh, so I'll be hitting on five, same as you. Mm -hmm. That's three hits. Killing on force since you are a regular. So that's three dead. Uh, the six I will reroll to see if I can take out something. Yeah! I told you they're loaded. They're loaded. Uh, you need to buy new dice. Your uh, medium machine gun is dead. So you, lose, you. so you lose that. Foo you. Yes, and stick it to foo you, not the other word, because children are watching this. Mm -hmm. So don't. I didn't get that line. Hello. I want to activate my juice box. That's my juice box. Don't take my juice box. Uh, no, it's not yours. Oh, it's I stole it from bad. Schwein. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to move my HQ. Towards that superstar destroyer. Yeah. So you're given a run order. That's yeah. a total of 12. So that's somewhere here. Did you manage to get within six? I don't know. Is it within six of him? Yeah. As long as you're within six of a unit. And yeah, you're. Mm. Yeah. You're just. Yes. Yep. I will. I will. I will allow that. That's within six. Sure. So let's get a new dice. Yeah. And I'm going to try to take advantage of him, or that gun being slightly disabled. You got a dice? 
Yes, I got a dice. Uh, so I am going to run this inexperienced squad if I can pass my order test. Uh, so they're testing on an 8, minus 1 uh, for a pin. Who the magic? 7. So that's 8. Of course it is. So they go down instead. New dice. <laughs> that can't work well. Oh, not a dice. <laughs> Things get foobarred when you work in films. Uh, this machine gun is going into ambush. That's it. And uh, Mr. Robo, you wanted some uh, inexperienced action, so I'm going to run you towards the action. Making sure to stay clear of the barbed wire. That's bad for your health, I've been told. So, running the inexperienced squad 12 inches up uh, to try to provide some additional pressure on his tank. Uh, knowing me, I'm going to try to assault him. Knowing me, I'm going to fail. But at least I'll stall the bastard. Hopefully. So, that's my move. You have a die. What do you want to do with your die? Do you want to um, die? No. What do you want to do? I want to... Try to fire my fuck gun. Your uh, 88 millimeter. Yeah. The German gun above all else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that requires a leadership test. Uh, you have three pins. Yeah. You're at an additional minus one because of uh, losing everyone on your team except Hitler. This is of course Dolph Jr. Uh, so you're testing on a base of five since you were regular plus two for your uh, nearby NCO, so that's seven. Seven. Come on. That is five. So then we reduce this one to two. All right, so what do you want to shoot at? Want you shoot you at start at a base of three, four, five because of do I the... Do have to turn it? Oh, wait, you have... No, it's, it's, got, it's got it. Okay. Uh, but you can turn it if you want to. But it, it, it is turnable. It's soon dead, so... There you go. Uh, I think that implies what I want. Yeah, to hit. <laughs> try to hit my tank. That will require some voodoo. Uh, let's see, you hit on a base of three, yeah. minus an additional one because most of your crew is dead, so four, mm -hmm. minus two more uh, for the pin, so that's six. Uh, we have agreed that this hill provides uh, hardcover, so that's eight. So it's a six followed by a six. Uh, it's not long range, by <laughs> it's got 84 inches or something. So, six followed by six to hit. Come on. No. That is not a hit. That is a two. It's a two. And being aggressive, we are going to. Why is there an ambush die here? That was. That belongs to. Jerry, Jerry. Uh, this inexperienced squad is going to run. And they're going to mm -hmm. run up and just stand behind the Sherman. Uh, and that's my move for. This die. Yep. Hello. Another die. Another one. Anyways, activate. Activate. You activate. 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 I activate my here unit. And this activate. is one of the veteran squads. Yeah, they're going to run. So mm -hmm. Twelve inch. Here. Putting some early pressure on Joachim by giving him a lot of pens and. Killing his crew on the 88. That, that was his uh, cover for, or that was his backup uh, for the rest of his team running forward. But now he has to do the dirty work himself. And remember, uh, Joachim has to fight for the prize. So we also have to kill my units to gather up some victory points for who wins in total uh, Battle of Kesrin Pass. Uh, don't know if it will be me and Joachim playing the remainder or. In, the last two games, but it's important, isn't it? It is. It's important who gets the overall win. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have another dice, and I'm going to run. They have to run around. They get up here with the frontest guy, and the rest just follow him. And that's my move. And I have more die, obviously. I have five dice more than him. I'm going to run my... Or do I, I don't need to run. I'm going to advance my medium machine gun team. They're just going to move... Yeah, they're going to move down. No, wait. 
to the edge. Over here, yeah, you have to go. <laughs> you can see it. There we go. They're just going to move here. There they are. And that's it for them. There we go. And we continue the fun. Uh, my. Hmm. My. My, 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 my. My uh, HQ. This one. This guy. He's going to run. 12. To support. That's it. And continuing the HQ action. This guy will run. I have another die. He's going to run here. So I really hope one of these two stay. And that's it. More action dice. Yes, yes, action. What do you want to do? I want to run. No fire. Run yep. with these guys. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And when you get to that point, halfway. I'm gonna ambush you with my okay. medium machine gun. Sure. So that's uh, four shots. Four shots. Let's see here. The vodka shots or no, not vodka shots. Four shots. Uh, this will be long range, yeah. and that is the only penalty. Uh, so I'll be hitting you on a four. It's a three basic for being um, uh, regular. Uh, four for long range. Yeah. So let's see what we got. That's a lot of dice. That's way too many. <laughs> that was five. Let's try again. Four dice hitting on fours. That's one. There we go. One hit. Let's see if I kill. These are regulars because they have a yeah. machine gun. Machine gun. And no kills, but I do give them one pen uh, for the next turn. Yep, so complete your move. That's six more inches. Yep. And the rest will just follow. And that's it for you. That's correct, you Kim. That will not be my target. My medium mortar will fire at your tank. I can see the top. I have a range of 60. Yep. That's worth two. So he's going to fire indirectly. Yeah. Uh, needing a six yeah. to hit. Six. Hardcover. That's a one. No, yeah. indirectly. Hardcover. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's a miss, uh, but next turn he hits on a five, unless you move first, of course. Next one. Yes, you do. And I'm going to move my M. Um, Your medium, medium machine gun, <laughs> which is Mr. McCormick. Or Yep. So they're going to run. Well. Keeping one inch away from our other unit. Yes, of course. There you go. There's one in the. Don't, don't, don't mind the murmur in the background, that's just the wind telling you what to do. Hey. And that's it, so hey. new dice. Okay, so <laughs> accidentally turning the camera on. This is like the fifth time he's done it. But it works because I had the die, he had the camera. Uh, my units are going into ambush. Uh, the remaining uh, the remaining units I have are going to go into ambush. Yeah. Uh, because there's nothing that they can hit uh, or see uh, because of the smokes in the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty much it's uh, two 37 millimeters and the machine gun team, team is going into ambush. You have two units left. Uh, what do you want to do with them? I want to... Uh, just keep running them towards these guys. Okay, so let's move. You want them behind or in front or whatever? No, I like that, I think. Hmm? No, I want them behind the right. hill thing. So front this guy with that unit. Yeah. Move him to 12. To 12. And the guy in the back, that'll be him that's, to 12. That's one. And then the rest of the unit just falls, and the other unit falls. Yeah. Uh, oh, they have to make an order test to be able to run. Oh yeah, the last one. Did. Yeah, so why don't you try that? That is a regular unit with a pin, so they are testing on an 8 to run. They succeed, so they just follow. 
Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll be back with round two after Hugo Kim's done moving. And at the start of round two, we'll roll to see if uh, any of the smoke that's been fired Blow, blows away. Yeah, blows away. I have the die. And Hugo Kim will need to roll a dice for each smoke marker to see if they go away. Want to start with this one? Start with that one. Yep, so a six, it goes away. Stays. 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 And the last one. That goes away. Okay. Naturally, one of the two that I didn't want to move. <laughs> Because my HQ oh, revealed. There's also. more you. But thankfully, Joachim ran. Let's see, these guys were in the smoke, so they're just gonna be moving up here. Yeah. Thankfully, Joachim moved, so we won't be able to see my guy. Uh, so, we'll just move on to my dice, which yes. I will put to what effective use now. To move? I am move? going to fire my howitzer, which no, will hit on 2 plus. Ah. Fire. Watch me roll a 1. So, so hitting on a 2 plus on the 88. It's a 5. On. That's 2d6 hits. That's 12. <laughs> Dude, you're dying. He dies on a 1. Six. He's dead. Yes. Uh, the gun remains, however, and can be recruited. Uh, but uh, you don't have any other gun teams within 12. So it's uh, toast. Sorry, doll. So, yeah, the flag's already taken. Uh, detour. So that's it for Dolph. One dice removed. Sorry, dude. Nothing personal. It's business. And with the successful removal of that, I have another dice. And I'm going to shoot with my medium machine gun on the uh, advancing Germans. That's still four shots, and it's still long range. Uh, so I still need four to hit. And this time I actually have four dice, not five, not fast. And it is two hits, killing on um, fours because they are regular. So one dead and one pin. Yeah. Two and one. It's yeah. me. Yeah, you do. That one. I want to tell my guys down by the truck. Fritz! Oh, truck? <laughs> yes. All right, so for your information, uh, Hickman, the Panzer III that you have is a truck. Can I have the truck stats for blowing it up? Yeah, it's a yeah. 722. You want to do what now? Yeah, I want to fire my regulars, regulars here on, your on my noobs, on yes. my inexperienced U.S. infantry. So a leadership test of 9 minus 2 is 7. 7, come on, 7. That is a three. Yes. So we reduce that one to a one. Uh, would you measure, please? We know that you're within range, but how well in range? You are over 15 with everything. Yeah, that's not a problem. So everything is above half. So base three, uh, a pin is what? Up to four. And long range is, so fives to hits. On, oh, yeah. Uh, that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Hitler's Basso, 11. 11 shots. Hey, dude. Stop. Go away. Huh? 12 shots? That's 5, 10. 12. Yeah, hitting on 5. Oh, that's gonna hurt. One, two, three. Oh, that doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, three hits. Three. Yep. And you kill them on threes. So, <laughs> so one, one dead and one pin. I can live with that. And new dice. Yep. German shooting proving as effective as Star Wars Stormtrooper <laughs> shooting. Uh, the Americans, however, have fared better with their inexperienced selves. Uh, also, the British tank has fared very well, killing and, well, reducing by three men in one turn. Yes. Uh, I'm going to fire my medium mortar, who's uh, ranged in on a five on your tank, so I can get a shot off before it moves again. Uh, so five to hit on a indirect shot. That is That's a crooked a six, so need to re-roll that. 
You see, that's why I want to go on the Kickstarter and get the dice that I told you about, because they don't get crooked. That's a three. So I will be hitting on a four next turn, but I doubt that the tank will stay still. But we'll mark it anyway. And that's it. And we'll try to continue the success of firing indirectly, even though my mortar missed. Uh, my uh, medium howitzer will be spotted by this man on your tank. So I, again, need a six to hit. No, that's not a six, that's a one. Right. So I'll be hitting on a five next turn. And I thought I was going to do the other howitzer now, but I'm not. I'm going to advance my infantry squad six inches. And moving that slow means only one thing. We are going to be shooting at Joaquin. Or the Krauts, in this case. Krauts is German. It doesn't sounds, mean Germans, but like, uh, it was a bad slang for Germans during World War II. So I'm not being nice when I say that. Uh, so that is 10 men. Uh, one of them have a... No, that's 12 men. That's 12 shots. One of them have a BAR, uh, which adds one shot for a total of 13. Uh, the range is... Let's see. It's inside. That is... These guys are over half. The BAR is in front. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 shots. Uh, at short range and four shots at long range. So that is three, six, nine. They are hitting on a base of four uh, because of inexperienced, five because of movement. Mm -hmm. So hitting on fives. Five. That is one hit. And then we have four shots hitting on sixes. That's also one hit. And these guys are veterans, so we'll be killing them on fives. No. But at least I give you a pin. Yeah, so you have to take a test to do something. And of course, the reason why we keep drawing my dice is because I have 15, not 13 as we said, because um, in the um, in the Kessrin Pass uh, uh, army selector, no, army selector, uh, or the scenario selector, where I even, uh, purchased or set up this army from, uh, you get uh, three uh, medium machine guns uh, uh, purchased as a unit, but they all have their own order die. So I have 15. So I have not five more than you, Akim, I have seven. Uh, so I got another die, and I'm going to activate uh, this other unit, which is uh, Nat Robo, and we're gonna just Move six and pray to all that is holy that I can kill that machine gun before it shoots back. There we go. There we go. Okay, so who can draw? Let's see. There's the hill. Everyone gets to play. The range is over 15 for everyone. So that will be 13 shots, hitting on a base of 4 for inexperienced, 5 because of movement, and 6 because of long range. So, and 3, 6, 10, what? My math sucks. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hitting on 6s uh, on Mr. McCormick. Who is not a small team, thankfully. So I would have needed six all by six. That is two sixes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I need. Uh, what were these? These were veterans. Yeah, they were. So I need uh, five Did to kill. Did you shoot that, that, uh, that unit? That unit? Yep. Okay. So that unit. That unit. The medium machine gun. Yes. So fives to kill. That's one five, so that's one pin and one dead. Mm -hmm. Try again. Just, yeah, I think we just got uh, low. Uh, low. Hello, chaps. Joachim's got to die. He's reduced to seven. When in, what do you want to do with your second die of this turn? 
<laughs> yeah? Yes. I want to activate my... The thing I just shot at. You want to activate Mr. McCormick? Yes. What's so what, is, what does Mr. McCormick want to kill? You want to fire back? We turn fire. Turn fire. All right. So leadership test of a ten for a veteran minus one is nine. Let's see how you do. That is eight. So you pass. Uh, re removing the pen marker and letting you shoot at your normal ballistic skill, which is hitting on threes. Uh, and I know that I'm within uh, 16 because, or within 17 because I measured, so you're at short range. So you have five shots hitting on threes. That will potentially hurt. <laughs> what is with you? <laughs> so two hits. That's me. Killing on twos. No, wait. No, nope, killing on threes. And you can reroll the six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. No, but one guy dead uh, and one pen. Yeah. Rare occurrence of drawing dice twice for yes. this studio again. So uh, what do you want to do now? To activate my hair, hairless. But they're not here. They're over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to advance. Yeah. In this great canyon of ours. Yeah. Yeah. The autobahn, as you call it. <laughs> oh, that's so. Uh, this, this, this is this is the desert bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So six inches. You want? Oh, you want to keep shooting at Mr. Nat Robo? Yes. Focus yes. fire. Yes. yes. Glad to see you're learning, my uh, young apprentice. Actually, you're not young anymore, are you? No, I'm still young. I think he, this guy was like 16 when when I found him in the gutters of a toy store. Came in blue-eyed and. Long haired and oh, it's a, oh, it's a warhammer! Where can I find it? And I said, Warhammer! I also play that stuff. But now we play a much cooler game, which is Boltec. So, how many guys do you have? I have uh, one, two, three, uh, six, nine, ten. I love your math. So, that's ten veterans shooting. <laughs> uh, base of three, movement four. Uh, I'm. Well, I'm not completely sure. Can you measure range? See if you're within 12? I would assume so. Within At 12, least some of them. Uh, yeah. That's one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, one. First row. Two, three, four. Four guys. Four, yeah. four guys hitting on a uh, four, and six guys hitting on a five. Guys. Hey, dude! Leadership has to move. I shot at you. No. Yes. You shot at these. No. These guys shot at dome, dome, them when, uh, when they were standing here. They had, they had that pen. There were only ten models. Yes, I didn't kill you. I hit you, but I didn't kill you. So nine. No yeah, problems. not a problem. So back to shooting. Sorry. Four shots hitting four on a four. Shots. That's one hit, and six shots hitting on a five. You need to get some real action. Oh, there we go. So that's uh, five hits in total. And you're killing on a three. Mm -hmm. So you want to roll threes or higher now, not ones and twos. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Come on. That's uh, one kill and one pin. Yes. And I'm going to try to activate this unit of uh, inexperienced infantry. I need a eight minus two is six. To be able to do a advance, that's four. So I managed to do an advance. Mm -hmm. we'll remove this to one advance. Moving up six. And we're gonna shoot back. So that's uh, ten guys. One of them has a BAR. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that is, let's see the range, outside of 15 regardless. So we are looking at a uh, 11 shots total because of the AR, hitting on a base of 4 because of inexperienced, 5 because of pin, 6 because of long range, and 7 because of move. So 6 is followed by 6s on 11 shots. Yeah. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. 
that is two hits or two sixes. I need them to be sixes again. No, one and four, so nothing. So no action for them, but we're gonna try another inexperienced unit, which is going to advance six up over the sand dunes and try to take the Germans by surprise. Let's see if that works. And the reason why I'm playing very aggressively, uh, despite being the defender, is if I can move up and hold him, he will be slowed uh, with getting to my um, deployment zone. And as you remember, the victory conditions for me, minor victory is keeping him out of my deployment zone altogether. So I have to stop the infantry and most importantly the tank, that's going to be a slight problem. Uh, but I'm going to have to try. Uh, they advance, that is a 12-man squad. Uh, they are, some of them are within 12. Where is the BAR? He's of course the guy who's closest. Uh, so we are looking at one, two, three guys. One of them is a BAR that gets to shoot short range. So that is four shots, hitting mm -hmm. on a, a four basic, five for movement, and that's it. So hitting on fives on these, that's two hits. Agree? Mm -hmm. Then we have um, nine guys, seven, eight, nine, hitting on a six. Yeah. That's nothing. Uh, then we have your veterans, or they are veterans, the guys that I'm shooting at, so I'm killing them on a 5. That's a 6, Woo! so it's a dead guy, but we get to re-roll, see if we take out some NCO. No. Uh, so it's one guy dead and one pen. So I'm going to do another ball move. Jerry, front and center, you're going to do a pivot. Then you're going to drive nine inches. There we go. And you will be opening. Uh, you will open fire. You will shoot at the. Yeah, you will shoot at the Panzer three. Now only the bottom of your tracks is hidden from me. Mm -hmm. uh, so no cover for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you will shoot with the main gun on that one, and you will shoot the whole mounted machine gun on the veteran unit. Yeah. Alright, so we'll start with the veteran unit. That is four dice. Uh, it is a three basic and four for movement. So hitting on fours. Oh wait, I might be at super short range. Which is within six inches. That I am. So I'm hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Yep. Hit, uh, veterans killing on fives. Nothing. Uh, but I hit, so it's another pin for you. Bringing you up to two. And then it's the fun part. We are looking at 37 inches to my gun. That thing is a medium. So it has a medium at the tank range of 60, so it's long range. So we have a three basic, four for movement, five for long range. Mm -hmm. yeah! So six! Yeah! You're nice. I have a very nice ass, thank you. No. Uh, <laughs> not that, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Let's see where this is going. Uh, so, medium anti tank gun has a penetration value of five, but I'm over half, so it's reduced to four. Then again, I'm shooting at your side, so it's again increased to five. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have uh, five plus. I need to beat your. I think it's nine or eight. No, it's not beat. In any case, it's uh, six. Uh, but I do apply a pen. Yep. Uh, and that's it. And continue with the business of knowing what I'm doing. I hope my I HQ, my HQ, will run down here to support if my tank gets hit by some pesky German.
Where the hell? Run. <laughs> I'm done. Finally, he gets to play! Yes, got one. Yep. I'm gonna commandeer my tank. You're gonna commandeer? Uh, yes. Uh, who's driving your tank? I don't I'm driving remember. the truck. No, yeah, who's driving <laughs> the truck? Hickman, That's Hickman. Uh, the fourth. Hickman the fourth. So what does Hickman want to do with his uh, truck? Mm, two seconds. There's an advanced dice here. That shouldn't be there. No. Did you forget to put the dice back in the bag? <laughs> Maybe. You haven't shot with that thing as far as I can remember. I no. You advanced with that unit, shot at them. No, you haven't. So you you just for I think you just forgot to place it back in the bag. Place it there and then we count up uh, yeah. later. Uh, I know you haven't activated the tank this turn because it yes. will be further ahead. I want to... Activate the tank. <laughs> yes, Mr. Um, Hickman is going for a drive. Advance, but I have to pass that order. That you do. Uh, you are a regular, so eight minus one is no nine minus one is eight. That is a six, so that is uh, completely perfect. Remove the pen, and are you going to retaliate? Yeah, I'm going to retaliate against that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, so one pivot. And moving up to nine inches. Moving into hardcover again, I would assume, because you're so close. Yes. Uh, and of course, we have checked. Uh, I'll allow firing the whole mounted machine gun on the unit that's also on the hill if it has enough range. Yes. Uh, because they are also at an elevated point, and I would say that the tank can, sh can shoot over that hill. So, what is the range over to my infantry squad, you again? There you go. There you go. It's 34. 34 is within the 36 <laughs> allowance. <laughs> All right, so you are looking at a 3 basic and 4 for movement. Oh, measure range to my tank. I was over half because, well, you were further away. I would say I would guess you're within 30 now with the barrel of the gun. Mm, yep. Yeah, that's 29. Yep, so no half range, so we 3, movement 4. Mm -hmm. You want to do that first, or you want to do the machine gun first? Machine gun. All right. So Hitler's Biss saw has uh, five shots. Five shots. Um, here, however, we are looking at three basic movement yeah. four long range five. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is three hits. So now you start doing it. Killing on threes. That's three dead and one pen. And the fun stuff. Mm. The shot that counts. The Superstar Destroyer. Superstar Destroyer. The Luke Skywalker of World War II. Mm. Oh! Da -da -da. It's a six. So he hits. Uh, Sherman has a front armor of nine. Mm -hmm. You have a penetration of value of five. Same as me because you have a medium gun. So five plus. No! Five, ten. Ten. Roll the die. It's a penetration. Let's see what you get. Three. Three. Oh, my tank easily catches fire. Guess what result you got? You got the result on fire. fire. So we'll be right back to <laughs> need to double check what easily catches fire does because well I don't think we've had that before. So easily catches fire lets you add d three pins instead of one. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and roll d three? Of course you roll a six, you dumb jack. So ah. place uh, three pin or three pins on my uh, on my tank, uh, and I now need to take an order test uh, with a minus three to check if uh, my tank or my crew managed to put out the fire or it rages on and blows up the ammo. Thankfully, this is the reason why I moved my HQ up to give me a boost. So I'm testing on a base of 9, because a regular minus 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Mm -hmm. So I need to pass a leadership test of 8, and knowing my dice, I shouldn't roll both of them. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> no, that's cheating. No, it's not. So let's see, and it's, yes, they pass. It's a 5, so they pass the test. The tank great. is still here, but it's got 3 pins on him. Mm -hmm. So they put the fire out. And that leads us to more dice. So, 
I have another die and I'm going to advance my uh, machine gun team and they are going to move inside the smoke so they are able to see out but are also able to be shot at getting ready for to shoot some Germans hopefully so they'll be there yeah I'll just place this there and that's it get to play again I do what do you know who you want to play with <laughs> Pamela Anderson what's up what <laughs> no Pamela Anderson no no Pamela Anderson too old yeah yeah She's about your age. Oh, 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 that's painful. I'm only 29. No, I'm For 29. the uh, seventh year in a row. Seventh year in a row? Seventieth, yes. Making me ethically 99 years old. So advance on your undamaged, unscarred, unbeaten veteran infantry. Where are you going to? I'm going this way. That way. Yep. Uh, Yep. So you'll be shooting, I take it? I miss. That's why they are advancing. Yep. Uh, and that will be shooting, since you're going there, you'll either be shooting at the guys on the hill, over here behind the Sherman, or you'll be shooting at... I think in front of me. In front of you. Uh, okay, check range. Check range. Anyone within 12? Oh, yes. Alright, let's go backwards. One, two, and uh, we are at four guys that are within 12. So that's four shots. Uh, let's see, uh, you move base three for veterans, okay. uh, minus one for movement. So you are hitting with four shots on a four. Four shots on a four. That's three hits. Wow. Then you have six shots hitting on a five. If you roll only fives now, I'm throwing the camera at you. Okay. You have to find a new camera. It's not going to be a problem. So that's one additional hit, so four hits. Four hits. Uh, killing on threes. So that's three dead. The sixes can be re-rolled. Nope. Nope. So three guys dead and one pen. Second last die for you. I'm going to choose my... Damage crew. Yeah, you're down to damage goods. Six, seven guys, and this is the regular here squad. They've lost their machine gun because of a uh, critical hit, to put it that way. I rolled a six followed by six followed by dead machine gun crew. So, they go more advancing up. to shoot. They I'm guessing shooting at the same unit that just lost three guys. Mm. Just place them up there. Okay. All right. From now on, we're cutting and coming back after movements. There you go. Okay. And range. Everyone within 24. And fine. I would say that's good. Yeah. Everyone within 24. So we're looking at veterans. No raiders. That's well. It's still three. Movement four. Long range five. And seven shots. Three hits and killing on threes. That's one dead, and the six can be re-rolled. Then no, but it's an additional dead and an additional pin. Hi, you Hi. Okay, we have a die. What do you want I to do? do? <laughs> you have I one more left. I do. Yeah. I have my HQ. Where do you want to go? I want to move up to the line. That line, that line, that space. Yes, yes, yes. So advance six. Try to hide. Yeah, the tank ain't shooting you there. There's some die. Yeah. Which leaves me with four dies remaining. Yep. One of them will be my HQ here. He will run. Stand in the middle here. That's a dice uh, of. Oh my! There we go. Run. <laughs> dice of all my. Uh, this one will just. Ambush. Uh, this one cannot see. Well, actually, I can see your Germans. Funny. There we go. Mm -hmm. And 
is that outside of one inch of my own unit? It's more yes. You think so? Yep. All right. I think so. So I'm gonna. But I would say that you'd get hard cover from that. So I'm gonna shoot at you with a base uh, of uh, three because they're regulars. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, are they regular? I don't remember. We're gonna be right back after check them. And yes, they are regular. So they're gonna shoot at these guys. They have uh, plenty of range. Actually, do they have plenty of range? Uh, that is a light anti-tank gun. That is for it. Yeah, they have linear range. Um, base of three, uh, long range four, hard cover five six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So zooks. So that is a D two hits. Mm -hmm. That is a five. That tank, uh, that <laughs> superstar thing. So that's two hits, uh, and it has a penetration on the HE, that is, uh, let's see, light, H, E, D, 2, penetration one, and these are veterans, mm -hmm. so killing on four. So that's two dead. Woo! Two. Sweet, two. removing two, and one additional pin. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I have left, what do I have left? Supposedly one unit. They've all done something. They've all done something. You haven't killed anything, have you? No. What do I have left? Mm. Are you filming anything at all or just blank space? No, I'm filming oh, the yeah. main This thing. machine gun thing. Yeah. But they didn't have Linus. Well, they can see that unit straight ahead. And they are, within, they are within range, that's 31, so they'll fire at them. Uh, but same as with uh, the anti-tank gun shooting this team, I will grant you hard cover on that one. It's so we are looking at a base of uh, 3 uh, for the regular machine gun teams, mm -hmm. long range 4, 5, 6 for hard cover. Yes. And that is 4 shots. Nothing. And that concludes round two. Uh, coming back with the all important and game busting sensation. Round three. You can talk. I can talk. What round are we in? Three! What? You're just as bad as swine. No, say it's not round three. <laughs> We're not in a tree. <laughs> it's round three. God, I have to work with these people. Tres. Tres. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that works, actually. Uh, so I have the first die, but before we get to that, Joachim has to roll for these uh, smoky thingies. Smoky thingy. The so, first smoky thingy. Yes, so six, it goes right. Nope. Next one. Nope. The last one, which is over my troops. No. Nope. So they're still in effect. Hmm? Uh, I will use my first die to try to do something with my Sherman. Because I don't want him there because he's dying. So, uh, Jerry, we need to pass a leadership test of eight. Uh, it's a regular, so it's nine. Minus the three pins, six. HQ within six inches uh, adds an additional two for a first lieutenant. So I need to pass a test of eight to be able to move. Yes! So, down to two. And I am going to... Uh, Going to drive down here, which brings me into some sort of cover, I guess. Probably not hard cover, but might get something. Uh, then I'm going to be opening fire on. Let's see, they have three, so I'm not scared of them. Uh, he has two pins, so he's hitting on a six. I can shoot your tank. That's not going to help at all. He's gonna fire. He's gonna fire the main gun mm -hmm. at this unit mm -hmm. and the whole mountain at that unit. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is within uh, half. So we're gonna do the uh, machine gun first. Uh, base of three, four, five. Movement six. Mm -hmm. So six to hit. Nothing. And then we're going to shoot the main gun with an HE shot, that is high explosives. 
HG. Uh, it is a 5 uh, to hit because of the pin, 6 because of movement, and back to 5 because of super short range. So 5 to hit. Yes! <laughs> At least it does something. Mm -hmm. uh, so, HE shots. Uh, for Shermans, uh, they have a fantastic gun that lets you shoot HE D6 hits. So, let's see how many we get. Ah! What do you know? Dude. That is 6 hits. Uh, and with that HE shot, it's a bonus pen of 1. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be killing you dudes on a. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, HE D6, that is. That is a pen of two, actually. So I'll be killing them on three. Yep. So that's five guys dead. One, two, three, four, five. You have to take a leadership test. You have an two. additional pin. Uh, you are veteran, so you start at ten. Minus four is six. So go nuts. Bastard. Three and two. That's a five, so you stay. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. No. <laughs> so, I brought Joachim to his knees, mainly because he has a die and he wants to shoot his tank. Or wait, he wants to shoot my tank with his tank. He wants to shoot with my tank. Yeah. Uh, we've already checked. Uh, yes, I do get cover, but will only grant me light since you can see... Uh, we're shooting over hard cover. We're shooting over sand dunes that would stop these shells uh, because they're pretty big or sand dunes or rock formations call it whatever uh, but you can see so much my tank that cover is granted but will only grant light mm -hmm. uh, so he hit, he's hitting on a oh you need to pass order test I do. oh oh you might not get to shoot uh, but if you get to shoot you'll be hitting me on a four so regular is um, nine minus one is eight Yeah, so hitting me on a basic 3, uh, and uh, light cover 4, range we know that you're within because I drove forward and you were within last turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the medium machine gun wants to shoot at what? Mm. Same unit as last? Unit. Yeah, yes. so he's shooting at this unit, uh, he is within range just. Uh, hitting on a uh, three basic long range four. That is what? All right, no hits, <laughs> and we'll be back. I <laughs> very close. You might have gotten something off me that word. Not much. Uh, so besides me making a fool of myself and making him laugh, laugh, uh, these guys are going to. They are going to. They are going to advance and shoot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so they're going to have to pass a leadership test, which they will do on an eight. They are uh, inexperienced, so they have base of eight minus two pins. It's six. HQ is close. First lieutenant adding two. So eight. Two, six. Ten. They go down instead and do nothing because they're scared uh, chickens. Uh, uh. Moving on, and we try again with a different unit. Um, these guys, HQ close, base of 8, minus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So the boss says, move, or I'll shoot you. Actually, that's the Russians, but, yeah, um, they pass. No. Here we go. Move 6. We've completed our moves, and I'm going to try to kill Mr. McCormack. It's nothing personal. Uh, only my BAR is within half, so I will do that shot first. Uh, that is two shots, hitting on a base of four. Dude, I've been I've been screwing myself over. You have? Yeah, US. They don't have penalties for movement when they move moving rifles. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> that's uh, and I should know this. This is US, US Army is the only army I play. Uh, so they have a base of four. They don't have penalties for movement. So I'm hitting you on a 4 with the BAR. Mm. That's one hit. Killing you on a 6, no 5 because you're a veteran. Yep. Oh wait. Yeah, you're a small team. That's 2. Yeah, 
two man or less, a small team. So I, I would be hitting you on a five, but I got a six, so I hit you anyway. Yes. Uh, but no kills, but at least it's a hit and a pin. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, 11 guys uh, that's hitting you on a base of four. No penalties for movements, but a penalty for a long range, which brings us to five. And a penalty for small team, which brings us to six. six. So that's three, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11. Hitting on a 6. There we go. 4, 6. I don't four. like it. No, you don't. Uh, killing you on a 5. And they're dead. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> McCormick. Oh uh, so I said. Patron killer. Yeah, I can't really blame Swine this time because he's not here. I hope you're happy. Yes, I'm very happy I'm winning. No. German dice! Yeah. And what does the dice god wannabe want to do? Me? Yes, I'm you. Run. Ooh. Run with my crew. Run with your crew? And what do you want to do with your crew? I want to run towards them. Oh, you're going to assault? Mm -hmm. Are you within range? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, you are. All right. I'm going to shoot you when you start to run. Just move, them, just move them all up. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five, six, seven, eight guys. It's going to shoot. Uh, they are inexperienced, uh, so that's four. And they have two pins, that is six. So mm -hmm. six is to hit. And if I manage well, enough kills, if I kill on almost all of my dice, you have to take a test. Because you reduced to under half. <laughs> oh my God. Six. 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 Silly. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And actually, if I manage to, that's. Yeah, if I manage to kill on all of these, you have to take a test. So killing you on a five. One dead. Not enough. So you lose one guy, and you do get a pin, but when you get into close combat, all pins are removed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we are in a position where you uh, strike at the same time as me because... No, wait, I'm not in cover. You strike first, then I strike because I'm not in cover. So all your guys get to hit. And how many guys do you have left? Nine. Nine guys. You kill my guys on a three plus, And I have to have a five to kill yours. But seeing as I roll only sixes and fives, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just remove my voodoo stuff. Nine guys, killing on three. One, two, three, four, five guys. That leaves me with uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two guys left. Mm -hmm. Three guys left. Mm -hmm. So killing on, which means I lose combat. I kill one guy. Uh, I lose combat, and they are removed from game. Uh, do you want to roll the d6 for consolidation? Yes. Where do you want to go? Mm, somewhere. Go kill HQ. Five inches in a direction that you choose when we're... That way. That way? That way. And uh, after that abysmal loss of manpower, I'm going to have to do something. So my... Oh, this doesn't... This isn't there. Uh, my um, howitzer is going to shoot at your tank. As usual. Mm -hmm. So a six to hit. And of course, the reason why I can shoot at his tank, I can't see him, but I have a spotter that can. So, six to hit, indirect shot, five. So, nothing, but I hit you on a five next turn. And that's it. And being the old broken record that I am, repeat fire with the other howitzer. So, six to hit. Yeah. That's a four. But again, another opportunity to hit you next turn if I get the first die. I'm told to stay here and do the same thing again. Broken record. <laughs> broken record. An old broken record. So I get to fire my howitzer again. No. You said do the same thing. I'm going to shoot my uh, media machine gun team. Uh, or I'm going to fire... I'm not going to fire George Seriapo, but I'm going to shoot with his machine gun team. I'm not fire George. Uh, I am within 18, so that's short range. That is four shots hitting on a 
three. Because they are regulars. So that's two hits. Killing on fives. That's one six. Reroll. Three. So one guy dead and a pin. Hello. Hello. Is it me? Welcome to your Kim's pleasure pen. <laughs> pleasure pen. No, pleasure pen. Pleasure penetration. Oh, yeah. That's what swi Schwein uh, would say if a uh, tank was uh, shot in the rear. It's a pleasure penetration. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to advance. Mm hmm. And no on. pins on these, so no order test required. Yes. Going to advance down there. You're going to attack my tank? Mm, no. Actually, my tank is. Uh, it's doing its job. I mean, it hasn't made up its points yet, but it's removed a lot of infantry. Mm. Uh, so you have seven guys. What are you shooting at? At the guys on the hill. Yep. Bring it on. So seven guys. Uh, that's over. I would assume over twelve, but why don't you check? Uh, they are veterans. So three movement four. And over 12, yeah, no problem yeah. there. So fives uh, to hit mm -hmm. with seven shots. One, but that's a pin. Killing on threes. Hey, it's a guy dead. Why didn't I get that on tape? <laughs> You're trying to get in the old time. Yeah, so more dice for you. Yes. Well, so you I have mean, like uh, you have one, two, three units left or something? Yeah. Something like that. I want to activate my here unit. Yep. Uh, advance six inches towards these guys and then fire. Okay. So you're shooting at the inexperienced infantry squad? Yep. Yep. And you have how many guys there? Mm -hmm. Loads. So we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the light machine gun can shoot, but the loader has a rifle and he can shoot. So you have nine shots. Nine. That's three. Nine. Wait a minute. We'll be right back. And of course mind blank uh, happened. Uh, the light machine gun can of course move and shoot because it's a team weapon, not a fixed team weapon. So he has 11 shots in total, four from the uh, light machine gun, which benefits from Hitler's bus saw, so. giving him an additional one dice to that. So 11 shots hitting on a uh, base of three, movement four, he is within half. So 11 shots hitting on a four. That is one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Four? Five. I, I swore I saw five. Okay. Yep. Uh, killing on threes. Yeah. What? What? What the hell? So remove one guy and add one pen. What is with you? I don't know. So with uh, these guys still shooting as Imperial Troopers, <laughs> uh, I'll try to uh, give my guys a <laughs> very optimistic attempt to kill them. Uh, order test to do an advance. No. They fail, they go down. Yes, so what do you want to do? Some... Yep. I want to uh, run with my HQ. Here. Run, Fritz! Yes. Okay, bold move. And I'm not one for, or actually, I am one for being a coward when it comes to gaming because I like to win. I'm gonna be bold just like you again. My HQ, moving up six so it can be seen by everyone. And my HQ is gonna shoot your HQ. Yes. It's gonna open fire with a Minus one for long range. Nope, minus one for small team. Mm -hmm. So a base of four because it's inexperienced, and five for for a small team. Mm -hmm. No penalties for movement. Ha! Okay. Yo. So that's a two. Let's move on to the next die. 
and my 37 mil will open fire into this unit. That is a uh, three to hit. Mm -hmm. I am. Well, I would bet that I'm within 24. Yeah. 24. And no cover for you. So three H E D two. That's a five. And yeah. D two hits. That is another five. Uh, killing on. Let's see. That was D two. That is one pencil. They are veterans. That's a five. Killing on four. Mm -hmm. Yahoo! No one dies, but it's another pin. So, moving on. So, no fun from him. Moving on to the machine gun team nearby. They're going to shoot down at the guys over there. Uh, let's see if you're within short range. That you are. Yep. That's four shots. Hitting on... Uh, threes. That's two hits. Killing on fours because they are regular. So one guy dead and one pin. Next dice. And another dice for me and I'm gonna fire my medium mortar at your tank again. Hitting on a six. Hitting on a five, next turn. And new dice. Yeah? I got the last die I mean, of the turn for you. What do you want to do with it? I want to activate my HQ unit. No, you don't have to HQ, you have this unit. Oh yeah, sorry. The, 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 two, the two units. The two guys in the unit. The units! That unit. The veteran units. Two guys remaining in the here veteran squad. And run towards your HQ that it's trying to be bold. Oh, so you want to assault me. Alright, so it's a 10 uh, basic leadership. That's 10 inches for you. Uh, 10 basic leadership minus 4 is 6, plus your HQ is 8. Alright. Sweet! <laughs> now I They go it. down instead. Uh, that leaves me with my remaining dice. Uh, and after being rudely interrupted by battery change, happens quite often. Uh, my HQ will uh, boldly go where no man has gone before. Oh, he's gonna move. Uh, no, actually, he's gonna. He can't hide. Where there he goes. He's gonna move six inches, and he's gonna take a shot at your HQ. Yeah. So that is over twelve. So we have base of four, long range five, small team six. That's a one, so nothing. Uh, my anti-tank gun goes mm -hmm. down. And what is my remaining unit? Is it can... down with it? Yes. What's my remaining? I have one dice left. Machine gun team has done its thing. Oh, I see that we didn't plug that thing goes there. Done, done. Oh, these guys. <laughs> that high, can they see anything? No. No, uh, so they go down. Okay. And that brings us to the end of round three. We'll be three. back. Three. Of round three. <laughs> we'll be back with the pivotal yes. and game deciding again round four. And the start of round four, and as expected, since I have a multitude of dice and Joachim does not, I'm going to activate my tank to try to take out his tank. Hopefully. Uh, so I need to pass a test of nine. It's a base of nine minus two for the pins, uh, plus two for the HQ. That's within six, which brings us back to nine, as I said. So nine to pass. No! Mm -hmm -hmm. Damn it! Ten goes down. Sure, two sets of dice. Mm -hmm. One nice. that's overloaded, and another one's underloaded. Underloaded? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a term. I just invented it. You invented a term? Yes. Okay, invent a dice that goes with it. Next die. What are you filming? Mm, th that's true. Why? Who says, I'm, who says I'm going to shoot them? No, I like them. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to activate my um, unit here. Yeah. Uh, they have a pin, so they are at a leadership of 7. Uh, plus 2 for my HQ brings us to 9. Which I 
failed on the last die. That was okay, again. Now. Yay, pass. Two. So they will. They will. They will. They will assault, assault that unit. Do you want to shoot back? <coughs> Why would I not? No reason. Then I want to. All right. So shoot back. Yes. Uh, you have two dice shooting with <coughs> base of three plus four, so sixes followed by sixes on two dice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so no hits, and they just run into base contact and swarm you. And you can cut. So eleven guys make it into contact. Uh, I need fives to kill because they are veterans. No, wait a minute, are they veterans? Now I'm stumped. Which ones were veterans or not? They are veterans. Yeah, but we've ones. been saying these guys are veterans. We've been saying these guys are veterans. No, these guys are veterans. Are they veterans they are, or regular? They are veterans. And they are veterans. Then they were. They were regulars. Yeah, because they Yeah, that's the last unit of zoom. Yeah, these are regulars. Okay, so. Yes. Uh, fives to kill. Fives to kill. They died. Totally. So I will D6 consolidate. <laughs> Whopping one inch. So removing these guys from the game. Do I get to hit back? No, because they run it. Well, they die before you get a chance. Uh, yeah. And I advance I one inch. Hmm? And that's my move. Next. Last action wipes out a unit. And I'm feeling a retaliation coming on. Mm, yeah. Joachim will. Well, he doesn't have to take a test, so just run into contact. And since I already activated, I can't uh, return or I can't react to his charge. And he's within six anyway, so even if I didn't do anything this turn, they still wouldn't be able to do anything. So you just pile in there, getting good and dirty. Oh yeah, right there. And we're back after piling in. Let's just make it there. Now I have you in coherency and you don't. So let's just put him there. Let's just say that's legal. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys killing on threes. You need to have good numbers now, dude. Okay, that works. That's seven <laughs> deads. <laughs> that leaves me with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is one, two, three, four. I can't win combat, so I automatically lose, but let's see if I don't take someone with me. Uh, they were uh, regulars, so killing on fours. I take one guy with me. There we go. This unit is removed, and you can roll d6 consolidate. Six inches in direction HQ. Your HQ, yes. Okay. And I will attempt to shoot with my howitzers. Which have, uh, well, both my howitzers and my mortar have uh, zoomed in on your tank, so I'm going to try to kill them. Hitting on a five. Nope. So that'll be a four next turn if you don't move. You're then in danger of repeating myself for the second turn in a row. The other howitzer will try to do the same thing. So firing and hitting on a five. Let's do the magic rolly thing. <laughs> See how that works? So it's, it's loaded. <laughs> it's not loaded. It so it's a six. Uh, that's a medium howitzer. Uh, medium mortar. That's a how medium howitzer. H E two D six. It has a penetration of three. Uh, I get a bonus of two because of hitting your top. So I have five. Mm -hmm. So five versus your nine. Yes. Oh, Eleven. Sorry, man. Hickman, you're going down! Trying to kill Jerry. What's wrong with you? Uh, so, wait. Uh, that 9, 10, 11, so, oh yeah. It's not 3 over his armor, which uh, would have given me 2 dice to destroy him. I get 1 dice with my penetration roll, and 3. Oh, you're on fire! And it says, on fire! The well, you had Cruz is in blind panic, blah blah blah. Add one additional pin marker, then make a morale test. So you now get two pins, and you need to take a morale test for Hickman to see if he's scared out of his mind and runs out of his truck, as you call it. 
Uh, that's five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Hmm. So Hickman is regular, uh, which leaves him with a leadership of nine. Minus two is seven. Joachim rolls an eight. Hickman, you're dead. You're gone. You're buried. Go home tomorrow. Sorry. Joachim wanted a good shot, and he said he had one, so I'll trust him. So yeah. He had the die, but he wanted desperately to do that since he's turning into spear. And after being rudely, rudely interrupted again, what do you want to do with your dice? I want to activate my HQ, I think. Yeah. That's going to charge that one. You're going to charge my HQ? Yes. Ooh, I'm going to fire back. Uh, sure. Let's see, that is... Um, oh, well, uh, check range. I'm get, I think you're within 12, but... Just in case. Yeah, you're in 12. So I have base of 4, 5 because you're a small team. No! Mm -hmm. oh, 6, you are a veteran. So killing you on a 5. No! Whew. So you get to run and you get to hit first. And I need to pull one dice out of the bag since I did something. There we go. All right, you are killing on a three since he is a inexperienced first lieutenant. Ha ha ha! I get to hit back. Uh, miss. miss. No. So we stand at a draw and we fight again next turn. And of course, I am an idiot. Uh, we and just I'm right. Yes, we just continue combat until one of us is dead. But now we fight at the same time. So you kill on a three, I kill on a five. Roll, baby. Oh, well, my guy's dead. <laughs> D6 consolidate, my man. Yes. Into the tank, into the tank. Five uh, inches, five freaking inches. Five freaking and I'm inches. guessing this way. That way. Mm. It'll end up right, Thank you, roughly man. here. Out of line of sight of absolutely everything that I have that you can see. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> but you're fine through cover. Yeah, I'm shooting through cover until you'll be in. Let's see, oh, there are three, four, and five. It's actually on that side. Does that matter? No, they're in. No. It's if they're completely behind. We'll be back with more dice. And I'm going to try to stop Joachim. I'm going to activate my medium machine gun team. They're gonna f Dude, we forgot to roll for these at the start. Oh, do that. Sorry. That's okay. It happens pretty much every game that we get. No, next one. Middle one. No, the one on my MMG team. No, so they still stay. So, my medium machine gun team mm -hmm. will fire on your HQ. Short range. Uh, they're in like the, they're in the thing, so that's light cover. Mm -hmm. uh, and your small team, so that's minus two. They are regular. Basic three, light cover four, small team five. Four shots hitting on fives. That's one hit. Mm -hmm. Killing on five since you are a veteran. No. But you have a pin. Next die. And more dice for me, not surprising since Joachim only has one dice left. Uh, I'm gonna try to activate uh, this unit, controlled, well, it's controlled by me, but it's Nat Robo who's uh, owning the unit today. Uh, leadership of 8, minus 2 is 6, plus HQ nearby is back up to 8. That is a 6, so they pass. They will be given a advance order. 6 inches. And guys, one of them has a BAR. <laughs> Almost. One of them has a BAR, so that's 11 shots. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, they will be shooting at your um, regular unit, mm -hmm. and all of them can draw a line of, line of sight. And they are, let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 guys that are within, and the BAR is in the back, 5 guys, so 5 guys, including the BAR, that's 6 shots, will be hitting on a... Four, because you are inside of half and no penalties for movement. And four shots, wait, what am I saying? Six shots hitting on four. 
Yep. One, two, three. And then we have five shots hitting on fives. None. So that's three hits. Killing on fours because of regular. That's one uh, dead. Let's reroll. No, but one guy dead and one pen. And we move on to more dice. And moving on, we will activate my medium machine gun team on that side, yes. They will fire at the same units as previous turn. Uh, that is a three to hit if I don't mis I'm not mistaken. Yes, because you're at 18. Uh, so hitting on a three. That's two hits. Killing on a four, since they are regular. That's two dead. I will reroll the six. Nope. So two guys dead and one pin. Next die. The last die of the round for you. For me. What do you want to do with it? I'm going to run with my guys. <laughs> Another charge. Another charge. You should have blood curling charge. Hey. That's a nice special rule that uh, I think the British have. So leadership test to be allowed to do it. They are regulars, so nine minus one is eight. You pass, and they get to run. Uh, I will return fire naturally. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. One of them has a BAR, so that's eleven shots. Just move up, and I will pause and gather my dice. So he is in combat, but I react to his charge uh, with a minus two because I have two pins. Uh, so I shoot at a 4 basic, 5, 6 because of pins. So 6 is to hit. That is 2 hits. And I will kill you on 4s. That's 2 guys dead. So remove 2. And then you can hit back with 4 guys. That suddenly became not in your favor. So 4 guys uh, striking against 11. No, wait. I don't get two shots for that. That's uh, nine guys. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. But you hit first. Killing on threes. So that's three guys then. I kill on fours and I need to kill three or more. Yeah, I do. That means I win combat. I you don't want to. Uh, dice is for the guys that are gone. Oh, yeah, that I do. You hit first. Uh, so that's minus three. Uh, again, one, two, three, four. What's what's with the sorry? Uh, uh, Eleven minus three. There we go. Uh, now I need to. <laughs> now I need to kill three or more. Still good. Uh, even, even. Yeah. So I can re-roll the sixes. But no. Okay. So now we hit at the same time. Uh, you have one guy left. Oh. Yeah. Odds are not good. And I. Let's see. I have. Six guys left. Okay. Roll. You kill another guy. And your guy's dead. Yeah. And I will consolidate a whopping five oh. inches in that general direction towards them. And last three dice. One of my uh, anti tank guns will go into ambush. My medium mortar will open fire on this unit. Your veteran unit, which is advancing. Mm -hmm. A six to hit. Mm -hmm. That is a six. <laughs> that tank is that hit. A tank? tank that my minute. my indirect fire. That's uh, three yeah. sixes on my indirect fire today. Six, uh, six, medium six, order, six. indirect fire hits on a six. That is a d6 hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one hit, and that's whooping. Uh, it's d2 pins. Let's do that first. So you take one pin. Our batteries suck. I hit, I killed, I rolled a six so I can roll another dice to see if I get another six. I don't. One guy's dead. And you have a total of three pins. Yeah. Uh, and that's it for... No, wait. I have this gun. The uh, anti-tank gun. It's going to shoot directly. It's a three to hit. Mm -hmm. That's my last dice. It's a four. Uh, so that's a hit. Mm -hmm. It has HED2. D2 hits is... That's two, yes. and that adds a plus one penetration, so I will kill your veterans on a four. Ones. So none, That's good. but you get another pin. 
And that brings us to the end of round four. We'll be back with round five. And the first one. Yeah, you did. That's rare, considering how many dice you have. So start with round five. <laughs> <coughs> We've changed the camera because the other one kept running out of battery. So sorry if the quality is not up to scratch. But what do I want to do? I want to run run with my my hair. Oh, hold on. Sorry about the ticking. It was ticking. ticking. Yeah, that's the problem with this camera. If you don't have a slight zoom, it ticks. It sounds like a bump. But yeah, we're we've lost the ticking, and you want to move this unit. Yeah, I want to advance them down to behind my boss. Yeah. And then they're going to fire to the crew on or on the crew that's yep. behind the smoky. So that we need to roll for. Oh yeah, we need Again. to roll first. All right. So let's start with this one. Yeah. Six. It goes away. Both away. Ah! The other one too. <laughs> Six, this one goes away. Nope. Last last one. Yes. And he goes away. <laughs> Good for you. Alright, so now the smoke clears. Alright, so do your uh, leadership test to move. Mm -hmm. uh, they are veterans. No, no. They were regulars. They? Yeah. Uh, they regular. That was the last unit. Yeah. So they are at a nine minus one is eight. Okay. So eight to be able to do something. That's good. We move that. And the unit move down here. Yeah. That we've already Behind the we, boss. we've already measured, so I know this move is good. Uh, so you want to shoot at the machine gun team. Yep. That is five guys shooting uh, with a base of three. Movement four, long range five. Three hits. Ooh. Force to kill. Die. Two sixes. Uh, it's enough to force a test. If you roll another six, you destroy the gun. Nope. nope. But it's enough to force a test. Two guys are dead. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I need to take a leadership test. Fail. Yes, fail. So they are gone. Yes. Damn you. <laughs> so remove a die. And we'll be back with more dice. Believe it or not. <laughs> he has three dice, I have eleven. He manages to pull twice. What do you want to do? I want to move my veterans. Veterans. This is this. They want to run or charge. Alright, so run. base leadership of ten minus four because of pins is six. You've done that several times now, but that's not. So that's you eight. go down instead, making you one more difficult to kill. But it keeps you out of my deployment zone. Yeah, I get to play too. My mortar is going to shoot, and as you remember from last turn, he hit these guys. So we will now hit them on a two, and he does. Uh, and it's D six hits. Six. Three, four, five, six, and a D six has a penetration value of plus two. So I'll be killing your veterans on a three plus. That is three dead veterans. I will reroll the two sixes. Yes, your Ding. HQ is dead, but the German or your HQ, your NCO is dead, giving you a permanent minus one to morale. But the Germans have a special rule that uh, is, I think it's condition training or something, uh, that lets you roll a dice on a four, five, and six. You can just appoint another guy to be the NCO, and you don't get the permanent minus one. That's okay. So, so <laughs> roll a die, see if you get a four, five, or six. Yeah, so that will, would have landed straight. So, three guys are dead, but no permanent because to the NCO because he's still alive. Yes. And that adds D2 pins. That's a five. So we're up to six. Getting pinned down and out. Oh, yeah. And we're done. And, <laughs> uh, odd enough, uh, of the first four dice of this turn, Joachim has pulled his, all of his three. Uh, you have one unit left, that is your uh, HQ. I he just, has a pin. Yeah, I just want to try to run with that guy. Yeah. You Don't have to, to stop me from getting my minor victory. Yeah, just run with him. Okay, so run order. Uh, run order. You are a veteran, so you have ten. Minus one for the pin is nine. Two bar! Once. 
That's mm -hmm. nine, so you pass. Mm -hmm. So we'll just measure twelve for you. Thank you. One, two, three. Ow, that hurt. Uh, this pro probably sounds weird to people. So he gets to move up to that point. Yeah, you have to move <laughs> move him, Joachim. Oh. I don't have three hands. I'm talented, but I'm not that talented. There you go. And still outside of my deployment zone, but I have to actually kill him. So we'll be back with all of my dice that are left. So this is the number of dice I have left. Three, six, nine. So I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to place them over here. He's going to move up to Len Morale. He's going to take a test on a uh, nine plus. He is a regular, or he, uh, Jerry Lanigan, is a regular Sherman for the British Army. Mm -hmm. uh, leadership of nine minus two is seven, plus two is back up to nine for a advance order. That is a 9, so he passes. So that is 1, and he will do a pivot and drive up. Let's see. Hello. This feels like overkill. Uh, so the whole machine gun, 45 degree angle, that's not a problem. It's going to shoot at them. And the other uh, MMG is going to shoot at your HQ. Uh, so four shots with a uh, base of three, movement four, back down to three because I'm super short to hit your unit. Ah, so that's two hits. Killing on fours, since they're regular. One guy dead and one pin. Four shots at your HQ. Uh, that is again three, minus one for movement is four. Uh, small team, 5, I'm um, inside of 18, so 5 to hits, 2 hits, yeah. killing on 5 since he's a veteran, mm -hmm. he's dead, Woo! he's, he's double dead. dead, he's double dead, so that removes he's dead it, he's dead it, uh, next activating uh, a Nat Robo, he's gonna go up and lay some fire into that pesky German regular unit and of course uh, since we're playing uh, semi-linked battles I want to remove all his stuff before uh, turn 6 ends or possibly turn 7 because I want the victory points uh, so that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guys 4, 6, 8, 10, one of them is a BAR 11 shots, hitting on a base of 4, uh, no penalties for movement, uh, no one is within 6, but all of them are within 12. So hitting on, what do I say, uh, yeah, 4s, since I don't have any penalties for movement. Hitting on 4s. 1, 2, 3 hits. That was abysmal. Killing on 4s, since you're regular, so one guy dead. And another pin. Uh, there we go. There, there. So we've spent this one, this one, and this one. Uh, moving over on this side, the medium machine gun team is going to open fire. Uh, it is short range. Uh, there are basic three. You are down, giving you a four. And I would say hard cover because of the angle, so sixes. Six is to hit. Sure. That's one hit. Killing on fives. Nope. But that is now seven pins. This unit will stand still mm -hmm. and shoot. They will hit you on a five because of down. We are five guys, one of them are BAR, so that's six shots. Uh, hitting on fives. That is four hits, uh, and of course we need to explain. Uh, I'm hitting on fives because I'm a basic four because of inexperienced, and the five, the additional one comes from him being down. Four hits, killing on fives. Since they are veterans, one guy dead. 
Uh, moving on to the anti-tank gun. We'll shoot directly. We'll hit on a base of three, four, since they are down. That's a miss. Then we will open fire with the medium machine gun team. <coughs> I'm guessing they're outside 18. No, oh, they're within. Within 18, just. So that's four shots hitting on a base of three for regular, four for being down. So that's two hits, bringing us up to eight pins. Uh, killing on fives. One guy dead, possibly NCO. No. Now you need to take the leadership test. I do. Because they were five at the start of the turn. I think you're gonna fail unless you get snake eyes, dude. <laughs> Definitely gone. Opposite? Yeah. So they're gone. Uh, that leaves my two spotters to spot that those uh, three guys. Spotters. Yeah. Spotting, spotting. So both my spotters for the housers, I will just roll two dice for them. Since both of them are going to shoot at them. Mm -hmm. Need six to hit. No. Uh, none of my other units can see them, so we'll move on to round six, unless you want to concede. No, I never concede. Never concede? All right, so we move on to round six. Joachim has one dice left, and he's hoping oh, yeah. I'm reaching this point before the game ends, which means you need another turn. <laughs> Against ah! all the odds, he pulls, or I, I pulled his dice this time. So first dice of round six goes to Joachim, and you yep. need to take the leadership test for whatever you want to do. Yeah, because he to... is a two pins. Yes, I want to take the leadership test first. All right. So you need to have a nine minus two is seven. They are regulars. Nope, you fail and you go down. Okay, so I'm just going to give you this camera, and I'm going to Sherman you with everything I can Sherman. So let's see here. That's you sure about... Yeah, I'm sure about that. So, I'm gonna stand still. My turret is gonna fire on you. I'm gonna fire the hull mounted and the uh, main gun. I'm gonna start with the main gun, since that's the fun part. Yeah. Hitting you on a three base. Uh, super short. Hitting you on a two. What? Yes! D6 hits. Four. With a D6 is a plus two penetration, so I'll be killing them on two plus. Blood. They died. And that concludes the game. Jerry, well done. We win. We'll be back with summary. So the end of the game ends with uh, me destroying. Ha! I wiped you. Mm. I tabled you. It's Dead. payback. I didn't think oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, I tabled you, Akim. I removed. You've all. done that a lot. Yeah. It's happened. Uh, you lost all your eight units. Yes. Uh, I've lost five units, uh, mm -hmm. but I won the battle since you did not have any models at the end of the game in my deployment zone. Yep. Which gives me a minor victory, but I wiped you, which gives me a major. Yes. Uh, which adds uh, five points to the total tally of who wins the Battle of Kessrin Pass, mm -hmm. uh, where the allies are now at 13 points, eight for all his units, and five for winning the battle, and you're at Five or the Axis powers are at five because you destroyed five units. Uh, the battle itself uh, ended pretty much like it did historically. Uh, the Germans attacked on the 19th and were driven back on the 20th, uh, mainly due to the uh, presence of lots of artillery and the British tanks uh, reinforcing. Uh, and in this game, it was the artillery and the tank that did uh, most of the damage. Uh, with my artillery having a lucky hit, taking out the 88, uh, pretty much in round one. One guy left, but still made it rendered it pretty much useless. Uh, and uh, the Sherman, uh, controlled by uh, Jerry, really cleaning up the flank, uh, kill, uh, uh, taking a lot of attention from his Panzer III. Uh, historically correct battle, uh, and I don't see how Joachim could have done much differently. Uh, lots of terrain. Uh, that's in the defender's um, advantage. Uh, I probably would have spread the army out a little bit more uh, and moved the smoke markers, uh, having two and two and not everything at one point. Uh, 
And if you were to have everything at one point, have all your army there and just go up. But that's me. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, the point wise, it was a slight point advantage for the Germans, if I don't remember correctly. But having the advantage of uh, fortifications uh, is uh, really beneficial, even though they didn't take any fire. And all those additional dice. Yeah, 15. Yeah, that and dice, more dice is more, is more power. Having that much dice is really to my benefit. Uh, but they were uh, lots of inexperienced uh, units facing a more veteran uh, German army. Uh, it's correct-ish. Uh, but we have two battles left. Uh, there we will have uh, more uh, veterans for the Germans uh, and uh, more, inexper <laughs> more inexperienced, uh, or only inexperienced only, I think. Uh, units for the Americans, the British will come with some uh, regulars, uh, but uh, the dices will be more balanced in the next games. Uh, this was the Battle of Sbiba, almost got it right, um, game one of our Africa campaign for 1943, <laughs> 1943 campaign for Africa, and this has been Joachim, yeah. and Dima from Tabletop. Battle. Dot com signing off. Thanks for watching.